good day, day everyone. everyone. I am Chris Chanjuan Abergado. And I'm Jairi Ernesto Boniel. And I am Meryl Cubiton. From BSE 2C Group 3. And now, we are in the lesson 4 of this chapter. And now, we will discussing about science education in the Philippines. Science is useful because of its links to technology and industry, where there is an interconnection between science, technology, and also the industry, which from a national perspective are areas of high priority for development. Science provides ways of making sense of the world systematically. When we say systematically, it is the process, method, or step-by-step -step on how we understand or study the society and also everything that surrounds us. It developed the student's scientific inquiry skills, values, and attitudes including objectivity, curiosity, and honesty, and habits of mind including critical thinking. All these are useful to the individual student for his own personal development, future career, and life in general. These skills, values, attitudes, and dispositions are likewise useful to the community that an individual student belongs to and are further useful to the country he lives in. In the Philippines and around the world, people are talking about science and technology-based world, an application of practical sciences, and also knowledge-based economy, an economic system. The current direction of curriculum development in many countries is towards scientific literacy, where the science education of all students that are differentiated from those who have interest in scientific careers. This lesson will discuss the concept of science education and will identify some strategies to promote our science education in the country. Learning Objectives At the end of this lesson, the student should be able to discuss the concept of science, its history and development, identify great Filipino scientists and their contributions, and lastly, identify science schools established in the Philippines. The concept of science education Science education is focuses on teaching, learning, and understanding science. Teaching science involves developing ways on how effectively teach science. So, the teachers, the professors, shouldn't base only to their books or learning materials that they have but they also need to research to collect some data para mas ma-elaborate nila or ma-explain sa students yung about sa science or yung mga topics about sa science. Science education is justified by the vast amount of scientific knowledge developed in these areas that prepares citizens in a scientifically and technologically driven world. Developing a science culture is therefore an immense responsibility for school. Early efforts to improve science education Early decade in 1950s, scientists were concerned in the state of science education in the schools. Leading scientists made PH authorities aware that the teaching science from to grade level to college level, both public and private, was very indicated. Early efforts to improve science education. It is have a Philippine Association or the Advance of Science and National Committee for Science Education Philippine Association or the Advance of Science It is an annual conference which focuses in the training of the science teachers in the teaching science. In 1957, the PH government made the teaching of the sciences compulsory in all elementary and secondary schools. The National Committee for Science Education It is has formulate objectives for teaching of science at all levels and 
to recommend steps that it would be upgrade of the teaching of science. There are five committee identified where needed. First, integration of science with classroom instruction. Second, acquisition of more science equipment and tools. The third, coordination of efforts with other agencies. Four, negotiation for a science talent search and fellowship. For the last, higher salaries for science and mathematics. Establishing the Science Education Center. Dr. Carlos P. Romalo, who submitted a request grant to the Ford Foundation for operational and staffing costs in the Science Teaching Center. For one foreign advisor, for a two-year science consultant, for fellowship, for advanced training of teachers and supervisors, for books, and for other educational materials. Summer Institutes. Teacher's education was of a great concern to the teacher. Teacher's competence in the content and process of science and in the subject matter the teacher will teach. Competence as a teacher. Summer Institutes is a program where there is an advanced knowledge and study, and there were activities included to achieve mentioned competencies. This includes discussion of the objectives of the materials, discussion and practice in writing instructional objectives, study, discuss, and demonstrate lessons of the process of science, study and discuss the basic concepts included in the material. This section includes updating and increasing the teacher's background knowledge concepts, performing selected laboratory exercises from the new materials, constructing simple teaching aids needed in teaching the materials, teaching sample classes followed by critique and discussion of the lesson taught, and lastly, pre- and post-testing of the teacher's participants. The test includes process and content item. The other national activities are the Philippines Association of Science Teachers or the PAST, the Science Education Project or the SEP, and the Five Regional Science Teaching Center or the RCTC. The Philippines Association of Science Teachers was held a conference in 1960. It was a review of the status of a science teaching in the Philippines suggestion, recommendation for improving various aspects of a science education were made. The Science Education Project has a three category. In a major project that would have the following objectives. First, improvement of pre-service, in-service education of science, mathematics teachers. Second, local development of science textbooks and equipment. Evaluation of locally produced materials and research on teaching learning process. In the second category, in a Master of Arts in Teaching. First, it was part of National Project of SEP. Second, math scholarship was granted to institutions rather to individuals. The objectives in a Master of Arts in Teaching was to develop within each institution a corps of science educators committed to the improvement of science teachers, training programs, the undergraduate, graduate, and in-service. SEP efforts to improve science education in the country. Quality science and math education programs in the recipient and sponsor institutions through new and improved course offerings and a generally improved teacher education program. The five regional science teaching center are the Notre Dame University in Marvel, Cotabato, established earlier with the assistance of Ford Foundation Grant. 
the Ateneo de Davao College, the Siliman University, the St. Louis University, and the Aquinas University. Science Education Through the Decades In 1940s, after of the World War II, the emergency of curriculum made possible the accommodation of 120 pupils in an elementary level. In the secondary level, general curriculum replaced the Type A and B curricula like Home Economics, National Language, and Avocational Courses that became required course for all years except the geometry, the advanced algebra, and physics, which became optional courses. There is no science offered in grade 1 to 4 of elementary level. 30 minutes allotted for science and arithmetic in intermediate levels. But in the grade 5 and 6, one teacher handled of 60 pupils in the morning and another teacher in the afternoon of 60 pupils in the same room. In 1946, general secondary curriculum was in form in all 3rd and 4th year classes in public schools. In 1949 and 1950, the community school movement started at Iloilo and Bohol. 1950s, the primary school curriculum made possible Regular daily offerings of fundamental handwork in grade 2, 3, and 4. During this decade, some agencies assisted in the training of science teachers. The first part of four-year in-service training program in the use of Filipino as medium of construction, grade 1 for non-Tagalog province, and grade 3 for Tagalog Province, Lunch, and 22 regional in service education centers. Summer Institute also focus on certain issues related to the improvement of science and math education. The first is relevance, of course, to the day functions of teachers. Second, teachers should let the students do science instead of teaching about science and the last is students should provide with instructional materials that illustrate current accept concepts about science teaching history of science education in the philippines year 1901 a systematic public school system was organized and introduced by the united states year 1904 Science was first introduced by the Americans under the subject matter, nature study, but abolished a year after to give more time to language arts. Year 1935, science was again introduced with focus on health and nature. In 1950s, the importance of science with the development was only recognized by the leading scientists. Year 1957, science became part of the curriculum from grade 1 to 6. In 1960s, science textbooks were printed and distributed by the United States. The first generation textbooks were developed by the UP Science Teaching Center. Vocational and technical educational system has been firmly established. Robotics research is a trend used in seminars and trainings. And lastly, student exchange programs with Ateneo de Manila University started on 1960 to present. Some great Filipino scientists and their contributions. Claire R. Baltasar is the author of the Philippine book Insects. Her other scientific contributions include discovering eight species and one subgenus insect of Hymnoptera, and also discovered 108 new species of Philippine parasitic wasps. Philomena Campos is known for her work on cotton in the Philippines and also involved in research on sunflowers. Luz Oliveros Bilardo is a chemist and a researcher. She studied essential oils that can be collected from Philippine plants and orchids and was able to collect 33 new Philippine essential oils and study their chemical and physical properties. Eduardo A. Kisumbing is known for his studies in botany. He was one of the researchers to study Philippine medicinal plants and orchids. 
He wrote the book, Medicinal Plants of the Philippines and 192 Scientific Articles. Bienvenido O Juliano studied the characteristics of grains and proteins and how this will affect the quality of rice. Melesio S. Magno is a physicist he conducted on absorption and fluorescence and spectroscopy of rare earth crystals. Emil Q. Javier is known for his very practical solutions to agricultural problems. Alfredo C. Santos did research on the chemistry of natural products and medicinal properties of Philippine plants. Gregorio T. Velasquez, he is known for his work in phycology. Phycology is the study of algae. He devoted his 30 years in life in studying an algae called Myosopisia and was able to produce 47 basic and 77 valuable scientific papers. Gregorio Y. Zara is noted for his contributions in engineering. His invention include the video phone, an alcohol-fueled airplane, a solar energy absorber, an aircraft propeller that is entirely made up of wood, a wooden microscope in a semi-automatic propeller making machine. If your question is, what is the first science high school in our country? It is the Manila Science High School or the Masai was established in 1963. It was patterned after the Bronx Science High School of New York. 1963 was when the first batch that entered the Pilot Science High School graduated. It started with 36 students. In 1964, the Philippine Science High School, or the PSHS, was established. It was under the Department of Science and Technology, or the DOST.